Hello and uh, welcome back to the backyard here in Chandler, Arizona. I'm continuing on with the permaculture design project. Um, the last time I got all the drainage work uh, done, roughed out with the excavator um, so we can harvest water. And now I'm focusing on planting these uh, fruit trees I got. And so um, I've got this ditch here that I dug in the excavator um, as deep as I could basically to make sure that we got good drainage for the fruit trees. Because um, if they're, they don't have good drainage, their, their roots are just going to rot out when they're watered. So I did a, a seepage test, like a drainage test on this yesterday, and I wasn't very happy with it. It took about a half hour for the six inches or so of water to, to soak in there. So um, I'm going to try to mitigate that. I went to the yard this morning and got this uh, red cinders lava rock. This is quite common around here. Um, a lot of people spread this in their yards. This is all over my front yard when I was growing up here. Um, just kind of as a landscape material, like a mulch almost. Um, but as you can see, it's really porous. It's pumice stone basically, lava rock. And so what this is going to do is it's going to uh, fill up space in the ground. Um, sort of like, you know, rocks would. Um, and improve the drainage, but at the same time, it will soak up that water. It'll soak it up like a bunch of little tiny sponges in the ground. Um, so that the roots won't be sitting in the water, but they will have access to it. And all these itty bitty tiny spaces in there are going to provide really nice space for bacteria and uh, soil life to hide and, and live in. Um, sort of like biochar in a way, um, except it's just minerals, it's rocks. So what I'm going to do, in about like the bottom foot of this hole, I'm going to mix about half of this rock and half of the the native soil right here. Um, I've got a ton of it in my truck, about a yard, so a little over a yard actually. So I'm gonna get started doing that and that will hopefully create a nice um, good drainage basin for, for these trees. Alright, we finished uh, putting in this layer of pumice stone and the bottom there. I made it pretty thick, at least 50-50 uh, pumice stone and uh, native soil, maybe even a little more on the pumice stone side. But uh, I did a little quick drainage test here and it's a lot better than it used to be. Um, down to like 10 minutes from 30 minutes. So that's good. Um, next I gotta go get some compost. Um, and we're gonna fill that in this hole here as well, about 50-50 with the native soil until we come up to grade and then in that we'll leave our holes for the trees and uh, with the trees we're going to put in a whole nother mix of goodies to help these fruit trees thrive in this desert environment. Um, I've left a couple little piles of um, lava rock around here as well. I'm going to mix this in with the compost and soil in this top layer as well to give it some more uh, water holding capacity. Yeah, as well as in uh, some of the other places here. I've got another pile back there for the veggie garden. Um, so it's kind of a soil amendment, um, sort of like perlite you might do with a potting mix. But it's just cheap by the art. It was 50 bucks for a ton of it. So, um, Yeah, now I'm off back to the same place to get uh, a ton of compost. Hey there. Uh, a little bit annoyed right now. Uh, I'm at the rock yard here where I got the uh, pumice stone this morning. Asked him this morning if they had compost, he said yes, but now I come back and it turns out they don't have compost. They've only got manure mixed with other things or mulch. Um, apparently the compost, the main compost supplier here in Phoenix, they caught fire this last year and so burned up all the material. So um, I don't think I'm going to go find bulk compost here um, in the valley. So um, I have to do something else. I don't want to use manure because manure a lot of times the feed that they give the cows or whatever animals it's coming from, um, there's persistent herbicides in that stuff. People are spraying herbicides on their their fields to make hay because they don't want they want weed free hay. And so that carries through to the cows into the manure and um, can kill your plants. So I don't want to use manure um, unless I absolutely know the source is clean. So that's a challenge. Um, yeah, I gotta go back and, and I might just fill those holes back in and then I do have 
the the good potting mix and the compost and mulch and the um, the amendments to put in the holes where I'm going to plant the trees. Um, I would have liked to fill that hole hole with a bit more nutrients, but um, I'll do it in the. I'm talking about that whole trench. I wanted to fill that whole thing with with some compost, but it was filled back in, mix in that that pumice rock, give it a little better drainage, and then in the holes where I plant the trees, I'm going to put that mix of of nutrients and and um, potting soil and compost and everything that I do have in bags, um, and then covering everything in in uh, wood chips will help get that started to where the top layer of soil will be um, composting in place. So. Um, so it's a challenge I didn't, I didn't foresee, but we'll move on with the project anyway. So we're filling this hole back in with this uh, pile of dirt that we dug out of it. Um, basically just to improve the drainage over here. Um, it's going to be filled in a lot looser than it was before, not, not like a big hard pan. That's all broken up. There's some kind of hard chunks in here that you see I'm breaking up with the shovel there. Um, I thought it was clay at first, but really, a lot of it broke apart into kind of sandy, really silty sand. So that's good news. Should drain pretty good. Every once in a while, we'll throw in some of these lava rocks in there too, just to improve drainage and hold on to some of that water. So I fill this back in, um, get it down to the level we need, or up to the level we need, uh, which is lower than the porch, so it can be a basin to collect water, and then. Uh, when I plant the trees in, I'll, I'll dig a hole again for those trees, mix that soil with the potting mix I got and the other ingredients in the, the tree planting mix. And uh, that way they'll have all that nutrition right where they're at. Um, I did find another source for compost, a local guy uh, who can drop it off. It's a bit more expensive, so I might just spread that over the top underneath the, uh, the wood chips mulch and uh, that'll help provide some food for the trees into the future. So uh, we finally filled in the hole, finished filling in the hole. It was a lot of work, but uh, that's the biggest part. It's done now. Um, I'm glad we had the machine to dig that hole out, but now what I'm doing is I'm uh, gonna fill it up with water. Um, sort of like to do another drainage test, but also um, as that water sinks in, it'll kind of compress all the dirt down a bit let it settle so that um, when I plant the trees in there and it rains again it doesn't all settle then and expose all the root balls. I want it to settle first so fill that up, let it sink in and then uh, come back tomorrow and continue shaping everything um, to get ready for planting the trees and spreading the compost and spreading the wood chips and uh, moving along. Hi there! So uh, now today comes one of my favorite parts of any project, and that's planting trees. Um, so today I've got this bare root desert gold peach tree I bought at the fruit tree sale the other day. Um, and along with that I've got a mix of many different things that I'm going to go put into this hole here to, to bury the uh, root ball with. Um, and now that you can see this hole is a little bit bigger than that root ball. Um, if you're just digging into straight uh, native soil that hasn't been disturbed, like this whole trench has, um, you want to big, dig a much big, bigger hole, at least three times the size of your root ball, um, wide and deep. But I've already dug this all out and filled it back in, so it's all loose soil. So these roots will have plenty of uh, space to stretch out and move through the soil to ease. So I've just dug that um, there, and I've started mixing up my soil. What we've got here is a uh, about a 50-50 mix of the native soil along with this uh, potting mix that I got um, from the tree sale as well. Um, you know, there's a mix of perlite and compost uh, in there. Gives a nice little rich soil to get nutrients out of. So here in the desert, uh, you have to mend the soil in order to have fruit trees grow successfully. Um, a lot of this I've learned from watching Another YouTube channel called The Vegan Athlete, Jake Macy, he's here in Tempe, Arizona, and uh, this whole mix is kind of uh, something that he has taught very well in his videos. Go check those out. So what we got, we got the potting mix, 50-50 with the native soil. Um, I've got sand in here, 
that's just for drainage um, as well as this this is lava sand it's kind of like that pumice rock I got but um, it's a lot finer um, and so that's as well for drainage and water retention um, got earthworm castings obviously for nutrients and feeding the tree can't never have too much of those um, this right here is azomite this is a collection of over 50 different minerals that will feed the tree make sure that um, it will fruit a lot of times the tree doesn't have the right minerals it won't won't produce fruit so those are important this right here is mycorrhizal fungi so this is um, is dormant right now but as soon as you add water it activates it and that'll turn into a nice uh, mycorrhizal net in the ground um, a fungal network and it connects to the roots together it'll bring nutrients to the plant bring water to the plant really beneficial so this will add that soil biology to the soil in addition to that we got composted mulch I'll mix a little bit of this into the soil but most of that will go on top and that is uh, it's already partially composted so it'll help start the process of the, mul the other mulch I put on top of it start composting it which will feed the tree and hold in moisture so I'm gonna mix all this in here and get to planting this tree Okay, so I've got the tree planted in here. Hole filled in with a nice new soil, so it has a nice, good, uh, soft, rich, well-drained soil to grow in here. Um, if you notice the root ball here, I've mounted this soil up against that, so that when I put the uh, mulch over there, it's not, it's not going to smother the trunk of this tree and rot it out. Also, there's a bit of a basin around here. I'm going to do that in Arizona, so the water wants to stay here next to the root ball here. Um, this whole thing is a basin as part of the, the water management design here. Um, but when these are irrigated, um, this little basin will keep the water right next to the root ball. It doesn't have it, let it spread out through the whole basin here. Um, so this tree is ready to go, except for one more thing, um, which I've honestly just learned about. It might scare some people. But next what i got to do is cut this tree off right about here. Um, the reason for that is... Uh, where they originally planted this tree and let it grow. They let it grow even further than this. It was cut off up here as well. Um, but then they ripped it out of the ground. It's bare root. It went dormant. They pulled it out of the ground. And it lost most of its root mass. Um, all those little tiny feeder hair roots that actually feed the tree, a lot of those are gone. And so if we just plant it like this and leave it to its full height, it's not going to have the root mass to support this big of a tree. And so what we do is we cut it off right above uh, the, the the buds that we want to keep. And I'm going to keep these lower ones here. What that's going to do is make sure the tree stays lower as well. Um, these little sticks here will eventually become the main branches and uh, keep the tree low so we can get to the fruit and pick it. So here we go. That's it. So um, from what I've learned. This will give your tree, a bare root tree, a much better chance of surviving, um, especially for the first couple years when it's most vulnerable. And uh, keep it growing vigorously. So there we go. Uh, one final thing I'm going to do with this tree that's really important um, everywhere, but especially here in the desert, 
with mulch it. I'm um, going to start with the composted mulch here I got here and then later on I'm going to bring in a bunch more wood chips and actually mulch the entire yard. Um, so this will help hold moisture in the soil. Um, as this breaks down it's also going to feed the, feed the tree, feed the worms. They're going to make worm castings. Um, it's going to make it a much happier plant. If you just leave it unmulched it's going to dry right out and die. So Adam and I just spent some time uh, moving all this dirt around. Moved a lot of it up here. We smoothed that later and some of it went into building that burn back there. But um, mostly what I was doing was making sure I got the water flow correct. So the water would flow away from the porch and uh, over to this side. So this side's a bit lower than the porch. And you see right now I got the hose going. Um, just want to watch where the water flows. It's always going to try to find its own level. What I'm hoping it's going to do is uh, fill up this depression along the inside of this berm here first before it overflows into the basin behind it. So that will help give this berm some water. I'm going to plant some bushes on top of this. Seems to be working. The water's going that way first instead of overflowing right there. Okay, so you can see the little basement is filled up, um, and I was trying to overflow over this direction. So you see I pulled some more dirt over there and raised that slightly. So that now wants to overflow this direction. And it's just a very slight difference, so if a big rain event it might overflow over here. But even then it's still it's going to flow down away from the porch into the basin anyway. So um, just a little minor adjustment. Um, it's really easy to use in water if you have it to um, see what the levels are in the yard. So I finished uh, leveling out this garden area over here. Um, as well as Adam helped me with the uh, water level to get this little tile set here. And this is going to be a spillway for this basin. I want this basin to collect the water off of this side of the roof and fill up before it starts flowing into the rest of the yard so that the water can stay in the garden, which is going to need more water in the trees and such. So um, I've got this lava rock. We spread that out over where the bed's going to be. We're going to um, spread some compost over it. I had some compost delivered this morning. I'm a guy on Craigslist who makes it himself, so I know what's in it. It's really good. Um, so we're going to spread that over it and then dig it into the existing soil so it's all mixed together. And uh, that lava rock will help it hold on to some of the water too. <laughs> well done. So me and John are going to plant another tree. This one's going to be a pomegranate tree. So right now we're just taking the hole out again. Oh. You like pomegranates, John? No, well, we want to help me keep getting pomegranates and make me live long. Yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> I, I drink pomegranate juice every day. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a fresh yeah. pomegranate? No. Yeah, it's My dad eats the seeds. Yeah, the seeds are really good. <laughs> I know it tastes good. I'm gonna serve pomegranate juice. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so they can like squeeze the juice out into a cup. Yeah. yeah. All right. I Four. think that hole is big enough, John. Mm, still good. All right, you can get some more. So, did you notice I had this other soil in here? This is like potting soil compost. We gotta mix that in with the mm. dirt. Okay. Okay. About half and half. This is giving the tree food so it can grow nice and big. Oh, watch your shovel. Sorry, this is the first time ever doing this type of yard. This is called azomite. It's a bunch of minerals. You know how you need vitamins and minerals? I know that. 
You know how you need vitamins and minerals to grow big Wait, and strong? Wait, what do you want this for? Just to close the um, bag up. May you hold this? Yeah. So this is like vitamins for the tree. Yay! Yeah. We are oh. vitamins! Oh. Careful, John. Don't spill them out. It's getting vitamins! Mm -hmm. So it doesn't get sick and die. True. I mean, this is lava sand, so this is made from crushed up lava rock. So this is for drainage. This takes up space and allows the water to drain. It also absorbs water. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Found a new way to get out of this! Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we got another thing put in there. What the? What? You're going to kill me! <laughs> this is worm castings. This is, you know, like... Like, attacks the worms? No, this is made by worms. This is worm poop. Ew! <laughs> it's good for the trees, though. This is what... This is, like, oh. candy for trees. Oh. Mostly all plants. This is why, if you know, you dig Gross, into really good but soil... Soft. But it doesn't... It I looks like soil. I can't believe I'm touching worm poop right now. Worm poop is everywhere, bud. All the soil on the earth... Ew. All worm poop. You are stepping on worm poop. Just, you just <laughs> had to tell me that? Yeah. Could you that, tell that's me what that? soil is. Soil is. You're lucky I'm not a girl. and decayed stuff. You're lucky I'm not a girl. Can I do it? Yeah, we'll do it together. Yay! We gotta be really gentle with these plants. So, uh, we got our soil mixed up, and one last thing we're gonna do is add this stuff. Ooh, I wanna do it. Okay, this I wanna is pour called. It in. I wanna pour it in. Where do you pour it in? Just take like a pinch of it and put it in the bottom of the hole. Now stick your hand in the bag and take a pinch of it. You can take a bigger pinch, so yeah. Take a handful of it. You got little hands. There you go. Now spread that all around the inside of the hole. And right the bottom, this is mycorrhizal fungi. So this is like, this is what mushrooms come out of. Wait, you want to have mushrooms? Mushrooms. You might. These, this is, mushrooms are just like part of, of a big thing that lives underground. It's called mycorrhizal fungi. Ooh. And that feeds the trees. I'm that, having fungi. It's like a brain underneath I'm the ground. I'm having fungi. You're having fungi? <laughs> That's good. I'm having a fungus. Alright. Oh. Alright. Good thing oh. we have more soil than we need. Yep. Ho hopefully, we have more soil. Alright, that's, that's probably good, right? Yeah. So, see, I want to plant this, John. See how this is like the bottom of the, yeah. the tree? I want that to be slightly above the other part. That's why I'm John. making sure this is high enough. John. I'm trying to stick my stuff on the ground. Oh, okay. All I'm right. trying to dig a hole. Gotcha. I'm only gonna dig a hole. Jesse tells me to. So this is the part you have to be really gentle with. Yeah, I'm probably Taking gonna let you plant the tree. I don't want to kill the tree. See all the roots there? All right. So we'll set that in there. Now, can you hold, just hold this really gently? And then I'm gonna get some soil. Ooh, can I pull it. it up? Yeah. Let me do this part first, just very gently. Okay. Just a little more on this side. Tilting. There we go. That's good. So we're gonna oh, put, can I pull? Yeah, put a little more of this stuff in there. Hold it in my hand. Okay. Spread that right around this part here in the soil. Right next to the I'm roots. spreading fungus. Fungus? I'm spreading fungus. It's fungus among us. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Scrape it! Scrape it! Scrape it! Oh, careful with the tree. They're shoving. And let's do that with the hands. Here, John, let's okay. do this with our hands. We don't want to hit the roots with our shovels. Okay. It'll hurt him. Spit it around. I'm touching the wind poop. Mm-hmm. Mixed in with soil. Good times, huh? Bad times. Alright, so here's the see the little top of the root ball right there? I'm gonna make sure that's a little bit above the rest of this little spot. There we go. I think that's good, right? Oh, now wood chips. Now wood chips, yeah. Okay, can I put the wood chips in? Yeah. Lots and lots of wood chips. Get up. All right. All right. Thanks, John. So Get we're gonna back. spread this all around. Oh yeah. Like that. Yeah. Chips. No, you That's can. Game. It's okay. It's right there. It's good. So this is like a little blanket for the roots. It keeps them keeps them warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Okay, what about this? Nice and wet. We'll do that next. Uh. Is this high? You're yeah, good. Oh, get your eyes. 
There you go. Yeah, hit it straight on. All right.